Well, you may recall a few weeks ago, we told you about a uh, new state-of-the-art football helmets at Gallaudet University. Turns out that's not the only way the program has revolutionized the game of football. DC News Now's Dave Laval shows us why. Gallaudet University prepares for its next football game. We're going uh, right now. The Bison draw plays like any other team. What you may not know is this school for the deaf and hard of hearing is responsible for something a gridiron fan would recognize on any given Sunday. Gallaudet created the huddle in 1894. Gallaudet created the huddle in 1894. On three, ready, break. The Bison's quarterback at the time, Paul Hubbard, came up with the idea during a game against another deaf team. Paul Hubbard realized and recognized that the opposite team they're playing against was stealing their signs. Head coach Chuck Goldstein says Hubbard signaled to his teammates to gather around him. The rest, they say, is history. To be honest, I think I worked here for probably two or three years before I really realized that the huddle started here. And that's crazy that, that a deaf school like like started the huddle. Junior quarterback Brandon Washington is among the players who did not know their school's impact on the game until they arrived on campus. Now that we can hide our plays from other teams. I was shocked, honestly. I didn't know about it until I learned about it in my deaf studies class. Here. Former player and current special teams coach Shelby Bean takes pride in his university's contribution to the sport. Who else can say they invented the huddle, right? So it's a a one-time thing and to see it still being used in football today is kind of amazing over I think a hundred some odd years we've been using it so it's been kind of cool just to know that my my school has a part of that. A moment that allowed the bison to become the home of the huddle. Ready? At Gallaudet University, Dave Laval, DC News Now.